Hey, it's Ethan with ComTech. So today I wanted to go over what are some of the security basics that ComTech recommends for your Office 365. Um, we get asked often, there's just so many different threats in the industry. What do we do to, uh, you know, what do we do to protect the basics? Uh, what do we need to make sure that we have checked off? So I wanted to go over that. Um, understanding the why on why I'm creating this video, I don't think I probably need to go in this. Uh, there's just, there's a lot of emails being hacked, uh, a lot of ransomware. It, speaking of, of that, if you can look in the description below, I'll link a couple more videos where I did a, an example not too long ago talking about how I would, if I was a hacker, how exactly would I go about hacking into a system? So very, very simple. A lot of this stuff, Office 365, if you have the security basics set up properly, then it'll prevent a lot of this. Change Healthcare is another video that I will list in the link below. Um, it was a bigger security incident with ransomware and that sort of thing. I did a video on that. Um, so I'm putting all of these links in here just so you know uh, that not only that they're there, but obviously the threats are imminent and we need to make sure that we're doing everything we can, especially the basics. So three tips um, that I want to talk about. First thing, extremely obvious, which is have a strong password. Um, that's, that's very, very obvious. I probably don't even need to put it on there, but I just recommend that you can go into your admin center on Office 365 and you can check your password policy. I recommend you doing that. Um, the next thing is ensure multi-factor authentication is turned on. Um, I do have another video on this uh, and it's, I can't recommend this enough. There's so many times that I still see so many people using Office 365 and they are not using multi-factor authentication. Um, that is the link here, uh, or this is what the thumbnail looks like for the MFA video that I have. Again, that'll be in the description below. Uh, but multi-factor is very, very important. Long story short, what it is, when you log into a system, if it doesn't, if it needs to text you or it needs to email you or it needs to call you, that is multi-factor authentication. So let's go to the next tip. The third tip is back-end monitoring. Um, it is built, a lot of it's built into Office 365. I don't see a lot of people having it turned on. Um, what do I mean when I say this is you, inside of Office 365, you have the ability to make it to where when someone becomes an administrator, let's say Jim in your company is elevated to the permissions of an administrator, it has the ability to alert certain people and say, hey, was this on purpose? Um, it will also, um, it'll also alert if a forwarding rule is created. If Jim, let's use, let's use Jim in this example. If Jim forwards all of his emails to his Gmail, um, then it will let you know. And then the final thing, and I just gave you a couple of examples, uh, but the final thing is, is what is called impossible travel. If Jim is here in Burlington, North Carolina, he logs in, and then a minute later, he logs in in Saudi Arabia or wherever it may be. Well, that should trigger an alert because that's impossible travel. He can't be here in Burlington and in Saudi Arabia or wherever it is. So the back-end monitoring, having that set up is very, very recommended. Now, I'm gonna give you a bonus tip here because I, I always like to go the extra mile. Um, the final tip I'll give you is elevated actions are only handled on specific accounts. So let me give you an example. Uh, that This is the best, best way I know to explain it. Uh, we're gonna use Jim again in this example. So we see a lot of companies that do this. Let's say Jim is the owner of company A, and when they set up their Office 365, they made Jim the administrator. Um, so he is an administrator, and it's Jim at you know, xyz.com, whatever it is. But the issue is, is because he's an administrator, if he gets hacked or if he gives out his password or there's a compromise, now someone can get in and reset everybody's email password. They can forward everybody's email. They can do all of these administrator type tasks 
that Jim typically on a day-to-day -day basis doesn't have to do, so he really shouldn't have had those privileges. So this is the best practice. What we do here at Comtech is, let's say, same example, Jim is still the owner of this business. What we would do is we would make Jim's account a normal user. He only has access to his mailbox, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and then we would create a separate account for administrator duties. So that way, and Jim could have that username and password. That's not a problem, but he just knows when he needs to create a new account or he needs to forward an email or whatever it may be, um, he has to log into a separate account and he only logs in that account to do those administrative tasks. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. If these are just some basics, if you wanna go a bit deeper, we have an entire program where we come in and train your staff on becoming cyber heroes. We go into all sorts of things from how to identify email threats. We go through individual emails and show you, hey, this is, this is what a scam looks like. This is how we know. Um, we talk about if you were to be hit with ransomware, what would you do? Uh, what would all your staff need to do? So we go through a lot of different things. This is free. If you go to that link below, we'll have it in the description below as well. Um, if you go there, you can sign up. We would love to come out and, and train your staff. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or you know where to find us. Have a great day.